Well, good evening, Mechanic. Today we have a 2014 Chevy Cruze. This vehicle has the 1.4 liter turbocharged motor in it. And we're going to go over the process to be able to replace your ignition coil in this unit, this vehicle. So we have a, uh, we've popped the hood. We have this uh, cover here, and that's what covers the ignition coil. We're doing some work with the electric, so it's never a bad idea to disconnect your negative battery cable and, and have that put, set aside. Then we can come here, we pop this little cover, and this has one of, it's an ignition coil unit that controls all four cylinders, cylinder one, two, three, four, and so then we have tubes that go down each one. So it's two bolts, pop it out, new one popped in so we've got a little uh a secondary safety here for the electric here we just need to push that tab back a little bit nice and carefully like okay tabs back now we can depress the connector here and be able to get that connection to come undone. Now you just need one uh, T30 Torx to be able to loosen and remove these two bolts. All right, so remove those two bolts and now you can take this unit and just pull the whole unit out and remove it. And we should have four of these. This one is a little bit broken and the rest of it is stuck in there. So. Use some pliers to pull that boot out. Well, I think uh, cylinder one's been misfiring quite a bit. Didn't come up on a scan that it was, but I'm pretty sure it was. Anyway, so they should technically be kind of attached like that. You can buy just the boots and springs um, if you have a malfunction in just one of the boots and the springs. But being that this one is um, broken, of course, quite a bit right there, it's definitely, you would put a new one of these on. Because um, if you see, we have a lot longer of the unit that should be there. And so that's, that's how it looks. It's this one whole unit for your ignition coil setup on this vehicle. So if... Um, I don't have a new one right yet, so, but if you're just replacing the ignition coil, all you need to do, you put some fresh dielectric grease in the new ignition coil, if it didn't already have some, and then be able to install this in, line it up, press it down, put your two bolts in, And we tighten those in place. And then make our electric connection here. Safety lock. Put our cover piece back on. Reconnect your negative battery cable and um, you would be good to go. And so that would be the replacement of just the ignition coil. A lot of times if you're getting to the stage of replacing the ignition coil, you should replace the spark plugs at the same time. But if you feel all you needed to do was your ignition coil, that is the, the procedure there. Fairly simple to do on this vehicle. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.